Hello, hello, how's it going? So since last time, the AR Live happened! I wonder if you guys watched it at all. It was... pretty packed. Like, I wasn't expecting as many variety parts as happened in the, um, Vivid stage. The, uh... Oh, snap, was it called? What well, was the very first stage called? Pa... Pastel? Palette? Pa... Pa something? Stage? Was more along the lines of what I was expecting in terms of, like, songs, MC, songs, MC. Hey fam. I'm talking about the, um... Niji and AR Live right now. So like, the first thing that caught my eye was the fact that they're using a different stage than the last AR Live that they did. I kind of missed the uh, first stage because the, the kind of square, square stage they had before had steps. So like, I really liked how they incorporated the, the steps in the AR the first time around. Yeah, it was it was good. <laughs> but yeah, so the new one, the EN one, it was like a huge Do I call it a stage? It was like huge platform. Like I don't know. It felt way bigger. Let's say three or four times bigger. I'd say that my favorite performance was probably the Mameshke by the guys, just because of how much energy there was in it. And the, my favorite of the girls' side is probably Enna singing Etheria, but that's because like I'm an Enna fan, so that's expected perhaps. But anyways, I should get started on drawing Sheena. Which means I'll start by grabbing her official profile. So yeah, Sheena Yuika is who I'm going to be drawing today. She is a member of X Gamers. If I've got her lore correct, she's not quite a ghost, but I think she's like a spirit medium. But also, she's maybe a ghost? But I think it's more like she can talk to ghosts, maybe? Let's see how off base I am. Alright, there. Sheena Yuika. She looks like that. I mean, I pretty much already drew all the liner and I was starting on the base colors. Alright, so is she a ghost or is she like talking to ghosts? What what is what is up with her? Game ga daisuki na Kansai Is is that Kansai? Is this Kansai? <laughs> no, Koko ni Nense. So um high second year high schooler that likes games and I may be completely wrong about what that is. Jitsu wa rei no ryoku sha, right? Ghost ability haver. So that means that that's just like a spirit medium, right? My pace na seikaku de mawari no koto wa inisezu no ho ho hon to ste iru. No ho hon to ste iru. Her personality is uh, my pace, and she doesn't care about what's happening around her, and basically goes at her own pace. <laughs> because of that, she often meets ghosts and has her body taken over, so yeah, totally. Totally more spirit medium than being an actual ghost. 
I guess the uh, confusion I might have had is when her body is actually taken over by a ghost. So, taking a look here at Google Translate. A second year high school student with a Kansai dialect. So it was Kansai. Kansai Ben. So you can use it like that? Like, this this grammar was a bit confusing to me. Because it's like, game ga ski na kansai ben no koko ni nensei. You can say like, kansai ben no koko ni nensei. That's like saying, the second year high school student kansai ben. Like, well, anyway, <laughs> I guess it works. Ah, uh, it's translated the the this rei no ryokusha is translated as a psychic in Google Translate. So, okay. I mean, I feel like psychic is more than just ghost powers. This is like a ghost power psychic. <laughs> So she has a self-paced personality and doesn't care about things around her, and because of this, she's often possessed by various spirits and her body's taken over. Yeah. And incidentally, it's uh Ryushin's birthday today, and it will be Shishi's birthday. Tomorrow. That's uh, Shina Yuika. So that's how the pacing is going. I, I mentioned this because I was actually planning on watching Ryushin stream um, while I was streaming right now, but they pushed back their stream by two hours, thankfully, so I can stream and then I can watch their stream after that. Which means I will I will be fully focused. I will be fully focused on drawing instead of um, watching a stream while I'm also streaming. <laughs> Alright, so for Sheena, I made her pose pretty simple, I would say. Her, um, what? Charm point? Not really charm point. Uh, what do you call that? Her design point is the fact that from straight on, she looks like she has short hair, right? If you look at it like that. But she actually has really long hair done in a ponytail. So because that's like her her design point, I wanted to do mostly like short hair, but you can see the long hair. And that was that was my main my main plan. And so with that, I will continue um, with the base colors. Her eyes are pink. They're also really sparkly. Wow. Refer to editing layer. No, refer to other layers there. So yeah, for, for Sheena, for Shishi, I see her often enough because of gamers. Because she's a member of gamers and I, 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 I sometimes watch them, right? But aside from that, I feel like I see- I often see clips of her chatting streams, for whatever reason. Because <laughs> I guess like, you know, she's 
friends with in the same circle as other livers that I watch. So when she does chatting streams, she occasionally talks about livers that I watch. And so that's another way that I come across her content. this above the hair layer. Let's do this above the hair layer. One of my favorite clips or like events with Sheena in it is the um, Moon Blossom birthday exchange thing because you know Sheena and Fua have birthdays one day apart from each other hence why I'm drawing Fua next so they had a birthday exchange thing like maybe two years ago now and I really liked that stream this is a bit more purple oh yeah <laughs> coloring this reminds me I actually have that Um, I think it's a... What was it? It's one of those special cut-ins. Okay, like... Where do, I, where do I back up and explain this? If you know Poker Chase, the, uh... Mobile game where you can play poker... With, um, anime skin... Like, it's an anime-skinned poker mobile game. They had a collaboration with Niji Sanji before. I got... I got Sheena's... Effect. I think you have the gacha for that. It's been a while. I don't play it anymore. <laughs> but I kind of feel like I should log in so that I can like get the currency in case they collab again. Like, one thing I'm so happy about is the fact that I got Akina. Being able to get trouble for like... VTubers is such a interesting feeling. <laughs> okay. What do I do about the background? So I was thinking of doing like just blue sky because I really like um, her cover with Kev Mochi, the blue ambience cover, and that had a blue sky in it. But at the same time, Feel so I feel so plain. <laughs> if I have ghost as my thought. And my pace kind of 
personality. I don't really want to do like a horror background though, because that's not really her personality at all. Put the blue sky just because that's my initial thought. sky look better when the gradient is from dark on the bottom to light on the top or is it better the other way around? my previous environments are pretty detailed, like, recently. Uh, just remember why she felt, I felt she was similar? She did a cover of Show. Now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> did she? I want to listen to it in that case. Let me. Sheena Yuika. Oh my gosh, I went on her channel and her her uh, in self-introduction from five years ago started playing. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, I see it, I see it. Right, right. It was a Hakase Fuyuki. I totally listened to it, but I didn't quite reg <laughs> I didn't even register that it was Sheena. The uh, art style is so different. How, how did you recognize her from that? <laughs> the difference, the difference in the MV from her default model. Take a look at more pictures of Sheena and see if I can find something like a motif I could use, maybe. What kind of motif would work well? Because, like, visually, when I look at this sky, I feel like I could put like birds in the background or something, but I don't associate birds with. Shishi. Do something which hints at Sakuyui, maybe? Um, it's just like ghost, maybe. Also, when I search Shina Yuki, I, Yuika, I sure don't get very much uh, results in image search. Eh? <laughs> why is it so- why is it so- like, I can actually scroll to the bottom. I'm just looking for some common theming! Alright, well, 
I can't think of the background right now, so I'll just, um, do something. <laughs> How do I want to shade this? If I don't know the background yet. They're like real 34 but lighter. What's rule 34? Maybe not by name. I know that there are rules that are numbered, but I don't know the numbers. Kind of number that I shouldn't be asking about. <laughs> ah, it's the 18 plus version one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it that? Rule 34? Like, if she's got a swimsuit outfit, does that count as Rule 34-ing herself? How does- how does that tie in? I guess I guess she already she already rule 34 herself. Or lightly, I guess, because it's not a full 18 plus. <laughs> and eyes like Oshinoko but like a lot a lot smaller <laughs> her eyes have so many sparkles in them quiet. See around 1.7k posts of her on Don Boru. Where are you looking? <laughs> Well, she's popular. What can I say? All right, all right. I'm just gonna try and make up the lighting. We'll, we'll keep the blue background because I can't think of anything else. If I can at least I 
do something interesting with the, the background. I feel like I generally want light. This will just be a very, very bright drawing. watched a video about color theory on YouTube and so I am trying it out the idea that if I want to make blue more red I make it more gray instead Seems like it's working. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really watch the video in full, I just kind of uh, scrubbed through it. But it seems to be working. Like, this blue is too blue, so I just went gray instead. And now it looks kind of red. <laughs> as I probably completely destroy what that person was trying to teach through that YouTube video.
then I'm gonna also just continue ruining it by adding red everywhere. I kind of want to play with the concept of using like actual just pure white as highlight. Since after all, her hair is actually white. This is all going to be an attempt at shading it by making things really, really light. If I can get that to work out. Even though this layer is already white. Like, how do I make something that's already white even lighter? Uh, I thought her hair is pink. Well, it's like white that gradients into pink. Like, the top is all white, and then there's like pink here on the bottom. But like, if you can compare her to like Sasaki, whose hair is actually pink, then you'll see that her hair is white. <laughs> just white, pure white, but the lines kind of disappear. That, I think, would be cool to try. But it's so bright that, like, you can't even see the line. I don't know if you ever did the, the exercise of, like, shading an egg. Like, when you do that exercise, you're supposed to not draw lines. I think it's something like that. Even though the lines are like really super obvious right now, them to disappear.
Okay, and then I use white. I'm just gonna use full on white. You can hardly you can hardly see the difference between like the white and the what is that cream? Like, does that even work? You, you can tell that it's lighter there, but... I'm not quite sure if that's the effect that, I, that I'm going for, but okay. Sure. Sure. I have it like gray right now, but it should be more white and as you say, likely pink. Once I clean up this part. like a gradient this hair so white on the top and then like pink on the bottom and then blend So I like to make this, at least the bangs, a slightly transparent looking. Um, idea of shading white just the concept of the concept of it
All right, and there is also, okay, okay. I'm doing the creating a folder, putting it in a folder, changing the folder into multiply and keeping the first layer in normal, then adding on this part. So I see that there's like a ring of shadow because since the hair is already white, it's hard to add a highlight ring. So instead, it's a shadow ring. A ring of shadow. is a bit different from a ring of light because I'm not having it on like an add glow layer but in the end how does that look Feels a bit different. But I guess it's not too bad. The ribbon, the hair, okay. Let's draw the face on this thing. Best part. You know, like the eyes are further apart. Do it to capture the unique charm of this hairpin. hair feeling super duper transparent.
Alright, that's lightening up the lines like crazy. So now... The question of how to make the... Hair feels shaded, but not dark. Coloring the the eye when it's like in between the hair is a bit uh, troublesome. Thank you. Oh, you changed your profile picture in that short amount of time? <laughs> time um i hope i live <laughs> i hope my life isn't that short <laughs> isn't too short rather difficult though. The difference between white and the gray
maybe for this side of the head I won't use the dark dark gray and I'll just use the two shades so like the white and this somewhat light gray My mistake recently was to draw Kobo Kanaer hair. What's, what's distinct about her hair? <laughs> I've, I've never thought about uh, drawing her, so let me, let me take a look. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be difficult. Yes, that would be difficult. <laughs> bottom of her hair <laughs> yeah because I've seen her before but like you know how it is with vtubers you only ever see the top of their bottle <laughs> It is a really cool design though.
the back of this hair. Where have I got that layer? Wait, where is that layer actually? <laughs> like actually. Hmm? Ah, here it is, here it is. Right, right, right. Just give a bit of further shading here. Peon, please don't draw on the wrong layer. <laughs> there aren't that many layers, so it should be okay. <laughs> ridiculously highlighted I don't know highlighting like this is so so unusual to me <laughs> Like, it feels very bright to me, but at the same time, it's not like it's that bright, is it? Her hair is just very, very much light. What's her name? Her name is Shina Yuika. You can see the spelling right down here. All right, I will draw like the, the, the most cloudy clouds I can think of. Wait, actually. Where would I draw a cloud? If I draw a cloud here, that just seems stupid because it's gonna be the same color as like her hair. 
So if I wanted to draw a cloud, like there's actually a very limited place I can draw it. Oh, wait, yo, I can draw clouds on both sides so that frames the face or something. Because drawing a cloud behind her is just gonna make her get lost in the cloud <laughs> completely. I'll draw those like really poopy kind of clouds. Like that. And this looks like a staircase the way I drew it just now, so I'll try to erase that. is very clear. And the cloud is just the cloud is just that. And then I'll take like actual full white. Because what I had before was Kind of like a grey blue. details. Wait, that's not horizontal. It's more like this. No wait, that's now floating up. This is like the thought of having like mini clouds surrounding the bigger cloud to make it feel like there's more detail to the cloud. So I do still kind of feel like it'd be cool to have birds in the background even though it's not really related to her you know just the the this kind of bird a bit of what noise <laughs> that feels kind of random I need to figure out a place to put these birds her head's too big they're lost if I just leave them there this kind of feels like the best place, but because of the the ends of her hair and the ribbon, it um gets it gets lost there. So then like it'd be nice if it were here maybe. But then it gets lost in the cloud a bit. The 
if I do an outline layer. Let's do like a really subtle outline. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, so eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I think in my attempt to make the um, shadows more red instead of blue, I actually made it so that she doesn't match the background anymore. I think if I kept the blue, it would feel more like it would match the blue sky. So I'm gonna add a correction layer and try to balance that blue and bring it back. back at all. <laughs> so that's me trying to bring blue back into the picture. So that, yeah, I think it, it works better with blue. Because with the yellow, I don't know. If I, if I go back from this is blue on and then this is blue off, when I take the blue off it looks like there's like a yellow light. But there is no yellow light because... Okay, well the sun is yellow but that's more of a white light. At the same time, this makes things too dark. It makes it a bit too blue. So I'm kind of like, eh, eh. Okay, I'll try, I'll try using an overlay layer instead then. Instead of color correction. Overlay layers should be kind to me, right? bit more of this kind of blue. And that feels better. So like I added blue on the right side so now it feels like it's kind of fading into the sky a bit more. Just a bit. I think that's what I need instead of trying to change the whole Thing blue, just the um, right side. Let's try this out. good. Fairly basic, but I guess the only thing that really bugs me is the birds. It's like I want them here, but at the same time... <laughs> they feel kind of random. Some kind of blur effect would be cool, but like around the edges. Let me try that out. Uh, let's flatten everything, copy, undo, and then paste it, 
copy it again and paste it just in case. Let's try blurring. Okay, that's blurring way too much. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's do, do like some kind of blur like that and then erase the center. See, I blurred the edges just a bit. You can see it mostly here and here. That's a cool effect, right? And let's even add a bit of glow around the edges. All right, special effects there. <laughs> Alright, and I'll call it a night. I think I've got all the details. She's relatively simple in design. Like, the major thing is just this one clip. This hair ribbon. This bow tie. And that's like it. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> So, and that is all for today. Um, up next on the list is Fua Minato, one of my Oshis, so I'm pretty excited to draw him next. I'll be drawing him in two days. So, as a sneak preview, this is uh, what I have as line art. So, in two days, I will continue it. Ah, thank you. But yeah. And then after that... Yes, peak male hair. That took me. That took me some time. <laughs> yeah, after after him, I get to uh, take it easy. Well, I say, I, I say take it easy, but... I should probably, you know... Build up a buffer, probably. Because <laughs> I'll be drawing... Fua on his birthday in two days. How exciting. I wonder I wonder what he's gonna do for his birthday stream. Anyways. Yep, that is it. See you later. And I am going to go check out Ryushin's stream soon in half an hour. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, bye-bye! Alright, I'll end my stream.